Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about what um, I, have an, as a high schooler, have on my iPad. So, if we start screen recording... So, if we start screen recording, and we have the lock screen right off the bat. So, if we swipe up, and we look at my home screen. Now, your home screen might not look at like this because I chose to have the Today View selected. So, it would show me calendar, weather, and batteries, because when I'm using my AirPods, it's great to know, like, oh, they have, like, 75% left, they'll last me a lot longer, or, hey, I should charge these now while I just have them in my ears while nothing's playing if I want to continue to use them. And then if we scroll down on the side, we have news, maps, and stocks. So now, those I only see if I continue to scroll down in the Today View as they don't show up by default. Because the Today View only allows you to have three widgets, or really four if you have all the small ones, but because I chose one big one, I only get three. You could have, there's honestly a bunch of combinations on how you can do it. So, if we look at the top four rows of apps, these are honestly all the stock Apple apps. And I'm not going to bore you with that because there's no need to bore you with that. Because you all are pretty familiar with the stock Apple apps, and also... I use most of them on a daily basis, which is why most of them are out, and also I just never felt like putting them in some random folder that I would never open because there is no app library in an iPad. So if we look at the bottom row above the dock, we have Instagram and Twitter, which social media apps because especially with the way the world is, it's important to stay connected. So if we open the utilities folder, we have Amazon, Apple Store for shopping. Apple support, because if something goes wrong, it's nice to just have the app and be able to talk to someone. Then we have Band Bright, I think is how you pronounce that. I don't know. Which is an app that actually tells you or allows you to keep track of all the watch bands you have. And you can always go and look at them or add new ones to your collection if you would, like, intend to get them and stuff. Which is pretty cool that it's like, here's this. And it's also, like, there's also, like, suggested ones that it's like, oh, based off of, like, what your choices are you prefer to like these colors okay, here's a bunch of them or if it's like a national day or something it'll kind of reflect that so then we have best buy again for shopping and then we have clips which again came pre-installed and i just needed to put it somewhere so i can have all my folders on my one page because i didn't need two pages just for one folder then we have eero to control the wi-fi as we have an eero system in my house then Facebook to, again, social media. Then we have Apple Fitness, which is for the Fitness Plus subscription service, as when you get a new Apple Watch, you get it three months free. So we have my Verizon to manage the Verizon side of my iPhones and everyone's in my house. Then we have Shop, which allows me to keep track of all my deliveries and packages that all have coming that I put in there. Then we have Snapchat for when I don't have my phone on me and I want to use Snapchat. Then we have Target for shopping again. Then we have Test Flight to beta test apps that I currently don't have. I'm not beta testing anything right now, so I don't need it. Then we have Tunnel Bear, which is a VPN that uh, keeps your internet traffic private. As you never know if you're on a public network, if, it's, if, if someone's trying to steal your information or whatever it may be. Then we have Venmo to send and receive payments from people. So if we open the Apple Arcade folder, we have Among Us, which... Among Us is a pretty fun game if you haven't played it. Although you are on a spaceship, and the, for those of you who haven't, it's a game where you're on a spaceship with anywhere from four to ten other people. And someone's the imposter or infected, and they don't, and you want to stay alive and essentially do your task to beat the imposter, or the imposter wants to, to knock out all of the other crewmates. So we have Dr. Mario, which is a... It's kind of like Candy Crush, except it's not because you're fighting little animals in to pop them, essentially, because they're viruses to, to save them. Then we have Sneaky Snatch Watch, which is an Apple Arcade game, and you just kind of want to go around as a Sasquatch and just not get discovered. And then we have Spider, which I actually haven't gotten around to playing yet. I've just heard great things about it, so I said I'll download it, and when I get time, I'll check it out. So then if we go to my school folder, we have Google Classroom to stay on top of all my assignments, Desmos to be a graphing calculator, as sometimes I don't have mine with me, and it's easier to just type it into something, instead of like, I think it looks like this, and 
then get it wrong because I thought it looked like this. Then we have Google Drive to access all the folders on my shared drive for school. Then we have Google Docs to edit any of those documents. Then we have Google Photos, which is where I keep all my photos in because until July 1st of 2021 now, Google is allowing you to do it for free. Then we have Quizlet to study, um, score to stay connected with my school and just the whole college search project uh, part of it. And then if we go to the stream folder, we have Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Netflix, Pro Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, YouTube Studio, and iMovie. So the first five are self-explanatory. They're just to watch movies and shows. Then we have YouTube Studio, which allows me to manage when I have videos going up and when I have thumbnails and certain things going up and everything, which is pretty cool. Then we have iMovie to edit stuff because the processing power of this iPad is so great. It's If you have an iPhone 12, you've experienced this and you can also do so much on it. So that's what's on my iPad as a high school student. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.